Hello folks and welcome back to SnowRunner, my speed run. So let's take a look at where we're at. We're at Smithfield Dam <clears throat> and I have completed everything on Michigan now. So it is all done. Our next step is one that I've been waiting on and talking about. We are moving to Alaska but before we do that we are going to jump over to the Kola Peninsula and I'm going to go get the F750 and the upgrades for it and I'm going to also get the all-wheel drive unit for the GMC. I'm going to need it. So again this is a speed run so I can pretty much uh, go about it any way I want to and I think by getting the 750 uh, it'll probably take me an entire day to do it a 24 hour period but by getting it um, I can make well, come on now Uh, I can make this run a little bit faster. So we'll need the P12 and we'll deploy it out there and let's see, oh now it's working better. Oh one thing I wanted to do was I have a Western Star so I'm going to go, eh, no I'm not going to sell it yet. I will sell it, uh, but not right now. Matter of fact, we'll take it on this mission. And I'll customize it. And I want to get rid of that crane because I want to make it lighter. And I could actually go ahead and. Mm, now I'm going to leave the flatbed on it because I want it, the wheels to uh, be able to dig in a little bit. And I'm wasting time here. So I can't get my chain tires now. And that's all chains, so we're going to get that. And I'm also going to need. Uh, which one am I going to? I'm going to need. I could try the Apache. Yeah, let's try the Apache and put some mm, I don't really need chain tires on it can even get chain tires yeah let's go ahead and put chain tires on it and I'll need I think I'll need one more vehicle so nope not truck store back it up back it up and I believe I'll take the load star. Get some chain tires on it. Because it carries extra fuel. All chains is what I want. And let's get these things out of here. So here is my plan this truck and the Western Star so we'll go ahead and get it are going over to where the 750 is and start back up Yeah, put it on that side. And what they are going to do is the P12 here is going to get the 750, but it's going to pull the Western Star over so the Western Star saves a little bit of fuel. Did I put chain tires on? Yeah. And then the Western Star 
is going on over to get the uh, big engine upgrade. The, then I'm going to pull the 750 to where it needs to go. The other two trucks are going to head for upgrades and get them. So I'm thinking this will work. So we'll just have to see if it does. The only thing that really bothers me right now about this is the fact that I'm not sure how the Apache is going to handle uh, in the snow. So it may bog down and not be able to do anything. I don't know. Hopefully though it does pretty good in the snow. I didn't test it in the snow so I'm not really sure how it's going to work. This is a very slow process. But one of the things I'm trying to do is save as much fuel as I can in the Western Star. So that's why I did not, I don't think I had it in all-wheel drive. But anyway, these two trucks need to go that way, so uh, I think this will work out the best. I don't know. I'm guessing at this point. And I don't know what in the crap is up with Twitch lately. So let me try to get it back up again. It says I'm recording, but uh, when I'm looking at my which stream there's nothing on there let's go back in and try it again there we go now I got something uh, I don't know a lot about twitch I don't know if, because it's not showing me what's happening on my screen, or on my Xbox here, if the uh, stream chat is updating. So I'm under the assumption if my you know, showing me what I'm seeing in a little bit of a time delay. But if that's not updating, ne neither is the chat. So I want to make sure that's running. And I have to go off memory here because... Well, I haven't opened up any of this yet. And I will show you on the map here. As you can see, none of this has been opened up. I haven't been over here.
This doesn't look right. No, this is not right. I need to go that way. Yeah, I was just over here a couple of weeks ago doing all this and I've kind of forgotten where everything is. I know generally where everything is, but... Okay, there's a bridge i got to fix, which means the bridge I can't fix is over there. But it also means I have to be careful of the ice. And if I had the bigger engine and the P12 was fully upgraded, I'd just run it through the middle there. But right now I can't do that. Also, not sure how the uh, Western Star is going to do over here. Also, I don't know if I can get to the other map. The tunnel might be blocked, and I have to complete certain missions in order to get the tunnel open. Uh, if that is the case. Then there's really no sense in continuing this along. Which is why I want to bring these two trucks over first. Uh, the F750 is not going to help me out a bit unless I have the bigger engine in it, the biggest engine. The other engine I can find on this map is just not big enough. Actually, I, no, that's right. It uses, well, I don't know. I'm not sure if I can find a bigger engine on this map. It might just be the biggest engine I can get for a scout vehicle that I've already got. Which, regardless, uh, if I can't get the bigger engine, then, oh, this isn't worth my time. Oh, come on, don't hit him too. Still blaming the bad driving on the cold medicine. I'll probably do that for the next six months. Alright, so I can't take both of those through here at the same time. They're not going to fit. Ah, come on, dude. Also don't have the advanced gearbox in here, so that's going to make it a little more difficult.
All right, let's shut you down to save some fuel. And go back for the Western Star. I had debated on whether or not to bring the Western Star over here to get the upgrade or get the um, easy now. Uh, bring the Apache over here and I just don't know how the Apache is going to uh, work over here, but I do know how the Western Star will do. And get out of that. Ideally, if I had both these trucks fully upgraded, uh, this wouldn't be so bad. And I don't have that yet. So, I believe here is about the best place to split them off. Nope, actually I think I can go up there. And then go down the hill from there. To uh, get the 750. And this 750 it better be worth it. I think it will be. Because uh, it with the bigger engine it handles more like a small version of a Western Star than a scout vehicle. I think that's what I need in Alaska. A long range scout vehicle that handles like a small truck. But I could be wrong. It could put me further behind. Who knows? Come on. There you go. So here I think I can split them off.
save the fuel a little bit. Uh oh, don't go down there. Not yet. Now I'll plunge over the edge. Come on, you can push your way through it. I have faith in you. That's why I brought you. Uh, okay. Let's try to go through here. I don't know it's going to hit that. Did I go too far? I did. I went too far. I passed right by the truck. Didn't even see it. So if any of y'all were screaming at me, I passed the truck. Next time, scream louder. There it is. Well, uh, oh, I thought I had the winch connected. Okay, so there's the truck I'm after. Uh -oh. Gotta make sure I stay close to the trees. Get out here to accept the mission. And the truck should have some fuel in it. Not a lot of fuel, but... Let's see, what do I need to... Try to take it around this way. Actually, I think taking it around this way is the best way. That way I can get it up here in a wider spot and get it turned around. So I know where I need to go with it. Um, 
also a trailer store up there. And that's where the other vehicle is located that I can get on this map. So I might as well collect it while I'm at it. And I have this big truck over here. Okay, so now that I got this where it's good, stop the engine and everything hinges on whether or not I can get through over here. So if it lets me over on the other map, then I'm good to go. And it will. Alright. It was my biggest worry whether or not it would let me over here in Imandra until I finished Lake Cove. That right, didn't make sense. Whether or not it would let me in Imandra beef excuse me, before I finished Lake Cove. And evidently it will. So let's run over and grab The bigger engine. Ooh, you know, I'm not that far from the Warthog. I, mean, I won't have any upgrades for the Warthog, but uh, it could have its uses. have to make sure I leave enough fuel in this thing to get me over the big fuel tanker at the airport. Once I get there I'm good. And I should have enough. Also got to make sure I don't wreck it. Where's that warthog? I think the warthog was over here. I know I can't get the all-wheel drive unit uh, for the... Maybe the warthog wasn't over here. Might as well pick these up while I'm here. Uh, I can't get up there and get the all-wheel drive unit or whatever upgrade is up there. Is an upgrade. Uh, might be up that way. I know I can't get that because I'm going to need a scout vehicle for that. That sucks. I thought the warthog was over here. I guess I was wrong. I have no idea where it's at.
Maybe it's not that way. No, no, let's try out this way. Ooh. Don't need that to happen very often. Uh, I knew there was a trailer out here. I was kind of hoping it was a fuel tanker. I couldn't remember. Well, it appears my memory is bad. Ah! Keep tearing the truck up. Okay, so now I do need to get back to the airfield or get to the airfield. I am going to need gas. Guess that was a waste of time. Alright, so to the airfield we go. Give me the tree. And then extremely deep snow. Not want to go through. And I've said it once. but I still don't think they need to make the roads this hard to get through in order to make the game harder. I just need to change the rules up a little bit. 
and make the missions harder. Not necessarily the roads and make them to where they're at, they are this hard to get through. I think it went a little overboard on the snow here. And the huge rocks. So there's the airport. This is taking more time than I thought it would. But once we get through here, we should be able to make uh, some pretty good time. Debbie the Warthog. I think it might be. It is. Okay, so I can jump into it, which means I'll be able to recover it to the garage. Right now, I have other things to do. And if you haven't played this map yet, there are two of these trailers. You will need this trailer in order to complete the fire star in the sky whatever it is star in the sky fire in the sky something like that but it's to recover the b25 bomber it's crashed you will need that trailer and the game gives you another trailer that's over here by i think by the trailer store near the trailer store And part of the mission is to get the trailer over there. So in my hardcore mode, actually I was closer to the other trailer, so I took the other trailer over there, and it turned out it was the wrong trailer. So I had to come all the way back over here, get this trailer, put all the way over there, and it accepted the mission, that part of the mission. But then I was able to use both trailers. And I put the main body of the airplane on one trailer. And then the wing with the engine on the other trailer. And then used the P-12 with the heavy crane to pull the last piece back. So it actually worked out better. Because I had both trailers over there and... I split the load up between them instead of bringing part of it over here and then going back uh, with an empty trailer and getting the rest of it. Here's it. on truck. I 
So my very first playthrough that I was playing, where pretty much you know, anything went in that game, I could recover the garage, just about everything I'm doing here. Only I was clearing each region before I moved on to the next region. It was basically the only rule, other than not cheating. You know, using the vehicle glitch to get more money. Uh, I started doing this map and that playthrough. And that metal that I just crossed is a bridge. Uh, get back up here, get back up. Go, 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 go. Whew. Uh, I actually brought one of the trucks across it and moved that metal back. The truck slipped off the side. And then when I tried to back up, the wheel got caught, glitched through that metal. And when I finally got it out, it moved that metal a little bit. So it's no longer a bridge. Uh, it's like half in the water. And you can't winch it back in place. So I actually have to bring a big crane over to put it back in place so I can get across it. But even when I, I thought, you know, I'll just uh, exit out of the game, come back in. Ooh, forgot about you. Exit out of the game come back into it and that bridge will be back in place it wasn't now see this is what I'm talking about there's no sense in having it this deep through here okay sorry had to Scratch my ear for some reason, it's itching. Whoop. I haven't heard a whole lot of comments about people saying how much they like this map, like they have some of the others. And I believe that's one of the reasons is because there's so many areas where you're just creeping through and that kind of gets aggravating. I mean again, you don't want it too easy. But when you're just constantly just trying to creep through some, you know, a lot of places to get somewhere, then that's not fun either. Just my opinion. What does my opinion matter? Uh, not a bit. Well, it matters to me, but... Don't you tip, don't you tip over. That would be very bad. Okay, I have 60 gallons of gas. That's plenty to make it over there. I'm not worried about coming back. And we'll get through this hell hole here. Again, really deep snow. After the first couple of times, it uh, loses its loses its enjoyment. It just becomes a pain in the butt.
and in that tree up there there's a tree up top of the hill here that you can get over but if when you get over it it damages your vehicle a lot so you gotta come down through here and the deep snow imagine that Come on. You can actually get through here better with mud tires. The problem is, if you have mud tires on, give it up trying to go up any icy places. Because the trucks just won't go. You either have to have mud tires on to get through the mud and the snow, or you have to have chains on to get through some of the icy places you have to climb up. And I think that's a little bit ridiculous. Wouldn't be as bad if the chain tires weren't so ineffective in snow. Great for ice. But for snow? No. Unless it's a hard pack snow here. It's almost like you have to have two trucks. One with chain tires in to get you up the icy hills, and then one with mud tires on it to get you through the deep snow. And bringing a scout up this way, yeah, plan on bringing a lunch and a lot of gas because you're going to spin a lot of tires. So I say, when I played the um, Northern Lights are pretty though. When I played on this map the first time in hardcore mode, what I should have done and what I will do in this mode is do all my scouting with the big trucks. Uh, there's only two areas where I actually have to have a scout vehicle. And because it, the roads are too narrow for a big truck, but other than that, scout vehicles aren't even coming out of the garage. Come on. Now when you have the Tatran, Tatran does really well on this map. Problem with the Tatran is it will not climb up ice. 
and we all know it's kryptonite is ice and big rocks. It won't climb up big rocks either. Okay, so we're getting close to the upgrade. I just have another set of big rocks to climb over. and then a swampy area to go through. Oh, come on buddy, you can climb that. And right over there is my destination. All right, I got it. So this is just for the F-750. And that's all I need off that, except to go back and get the Warthog. I don't know if the Warthog will help me out without any upgrades. But I'll go back and get it. And this took a lot longer than I thought it would. that way okay once we got it recovered then we'll recover the 750 and we'll get a couple of upgrades and we'll head for Alaska I would say we go north to Alaska but I don't know if Alaska is north of this place. Is Amandra a real place? I don't know. Do, 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 do. There we go. Is Lake Coved a real place? Come on, game. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One good thing though, uh, it means that the P12, uh, I can pull 
this truck in the daylight a good bit. Let's get a little closer. There we go. Because morning is not that far away. The only other time that I, or the, well, I've recovered the uh, F-750 twice, because I've got two playthroughs where I've done it. Uh, but the other two times I actually went around the lake, or the river, whatever you want to call it, and crashed through the ice and winched myself out and winched the truck out. Whoa, I didn't see that. So I'm hoping this way will be a little bit faster. Hell if I got some lights on. Getting through the trees though, that's going to be the tough part. I could take the road, but the road's just a pain in the butt. And there's a couple of down telephone poles that are not conducive to a big truck. Uh, they cause you great pain trying to get this truck through there. It's just so tight. trying to pull something through there, I believe it will be harder than trying to go through these trees. I could go straight. Hang on. So I need to go that way for the camp. make sure. Yep. So it needs to go to North Camp. I guess I could crash through the mud and the muck as opposed to going down here and driving around it. Eh. Now let's go around. I don't have a lot of fuel left, so I want to take the easiest path I can. And actually, that was a lot easier than going through the trees. I don't know why I've never tried going around that. Take you around here. And then shoot up this way. Still behind me, still on the wheels, and it still has fuel in it. Oh. Another scammer. 
I've gotten six calls today and they've all left voicemail messages saying that the warranty on my truck is getting ready to expire and I can extend the warranty by going through their company. I drive a 2000 Chevy S10 with 238,000 miles on it. I think my warranty's already expired. And I doubt very seriously if they will warranty the truck. But they keep trying. I keep blocking the numbers and they still keep on trying. I've gotten 12 or 13 bad calls today and amazingly enough they are still trying the IRS scam the IRS is going to send me to jail because I owe back taxes I don't think so does anybody even fall for that anymore I don't know But it doesn't matter. You block their calls, block the numbers. They probably have 250 numbers. The do not call list is a joke. Because they're not calling you from the U.S. So it doesn't matter to them. That's why when I go places, people ask me for my phone number, and my standard answer is no. I get enough telemarketer calls. I don't need any more. It's kind of like a game now. Where you go to one of these uh, fast food restaurants, you order and then they'll ask you, what name can I put on the order? I make one up. Went to Taco Bell about two weeks ago. They asked me for my name. I told him it was Herman Schmelmovitz. And the guy looked at me and I said, yep, you spell it just like it sounds. <laughs> Why do you need my name? I am just ordering burritos. So, Cold Mike 59, how you doing today? Uh, I would co-op later. Unfortunately, I have to work tomorrow. And this is the only episode I'm able to do tonight. And I have to be at work at 4 o'clock in the morning. Who in their right mind starts business at 4 o'clock in the morning? But I gotta be there. Yay for me. Uh, so, you want to know why is it bare? Why is what bare? Uh, you talking about the landscape here? Or the P12? Because if it's the landscape... And it's because we're in Mandra. Or no, I'm sorry, Lake Cove. And I jumped over here after completing Michigan because I wanted to pick up the F-750 because I think that will help me out when I do Alaska. It will be my scouting vehicle, long-range scouting vehicle that handles like a truck instead of like a scout. 
the scout vehicles suck in Alaska. And this one carries enough fuel and repair points that it can stay on the road for a long time without having to come back to the garage or hit a, a, a gas station. Oh, the P-12. Yeah, the P-12's got nothing on it because I wanted to make it as light as it could be uh, so that it would not burn as much fuel because we actually pulled the uh, Western Star over here and the Western Star went on into Imandra and got the upgrade for the engine for this truck. And I wanted to make sure that the truck wasn't so heavy that it burned more fuel than it needed to. And I'm ending up with 19 gallons. So I was cutting it pretty close. But I also didn't want it to get stuck. So let's recover that. And we'll go over here and jump in the 750. Recover it. So now I have the 750. So the only thing I need to do now is take these out. <laughs> 